How are we going, everybody? Now, I just got back. I had a day out. I haven't been in the garden. I didn't go out enjoying the weather in the beach and all things like that and sightseeing. I actually did a delivery today, so I've done that a few times. But just letting you know that I've delivered to all our outlets. They'll be popping up again, uh, opening up tomorrow, except for Red Hill, but all the outlets will be open. Most of them are heavily stocked up. Some of them are still needing to be stocked up. But more importantly, why I'm talking about this so much now is that when I went to each one of them, they have got dozens and some of them in the hundreds of orders to be collected still. So we're talking, you know, people have opened up their wonderful homes, their garages, you know, their driveways and sheds uh, to be able to have our click and collect and bring our products closer to you. So it makes it easier for you to be able to get a, a great product uh, without having to travel too far. Obviously, Lethbridge or if you're in interstate folks, we're working on that. South Australia, Thebiton's open tomorrow. Um, but what's happening with these outlets is they, they've got stockpiles of stock and <laughs> black rig to the walls uh, that have been sold and no one's come to collect. I know it's holidays, but some of these are pre-holidays and some of them forgotten completely. I've got some of the, the mixed messages coming through, but basically there's a lot there. So if you have an order uh, that hasn't been collected that you remember purchasing, please go down and collect it, whether it's Berwick, Dandenong, Bulleen, Seville... <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> Sorry, there are a couple of dogs there just wrestling. Anyway, but if you any of the outlets, check your emails. Um, they may have gone to spam, maybe you didn't receive it. Uh, it's important, it's imperative, uh, so we can make room because it's a new year. We've got new stock coming through, uh, and everything's really you know available for you at discounted prices. But prices have gone up, and I hope you got that information. I haven't even walked into my garden. I just got somebody to come along and uh, start filming for what are you what are you showing just weeds <laughs> come quick for a quick walk i did um the big malakas i haven't even finished doing this from yesterday so i've got a mulch visa as well you saw the film yesterday so stay tuned for that they're going to get mulched up over here these ones here in the corner it's all tomatoes for me at the moment folks as you know we're going to go look at some cucumbers and pumpkins but um People are getting concerned about their tomatoes not ripening. They've got a lot of tomatoes on their plants. Well, here's an example of one such thing. So you're going to have to come around this way to have a look at internally. You'll see tomatoes. Have a look. All the way down there. We are loaded up all the way to the top. So you can, this, this little branch here that I'm holding has probably got about 30. And there are about 10 branches like that. So every single one of these is constantly pushing out new tomatoes. Look at this. More tomatoes coming on, but nothing ripening at the bottom. Not a lot of sun going in there, and I want to keep it like that so I can keep the soil moist longer because I find even with the mulch on top, if you haven't got any leaf coverage over the top, you'll find your soil will heat up a lot, and that's something we can do. We'll do it in the heat of the day. Now it's too late in the afternoon. What I want to go around is, and I was thinking about this, is getting the thermometer. It's actually in here. Just come, 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 come. The thermometer's in here and it's sitting out. My eyes are terrible. I'm just going to pull this out quickly. It's not going to drop down too quick. All right, let's get it out. It's 21 degrees. So we've got up to 30, 31 degrees outside, 21 in the soil. Let's just do a quick one. This one here is exposed. This one here has been drying out on me. And there's another thing about coriander, folks, that I've realized. Oh, and the soil's gone so hard. Look at this. This is going up. It's gone up to 23, 24. I'll turn it around. Yep, we're, we're going up. So this is more exposed and it's a lot hotter and it's a lot drier on top as well. Look, it's got a bit of a wilt there. See that little bit of a wilt? You know, the opening up there in the gaps? Even the eggplant's got a little bit of a wilt there. It's thirsty. And the capsicum, well, this one's copped the beating. You can see that's gone through heat stress as well. So this bed here has been drying out too much. Even though I've done the same procedure, that doesn't always work out 100%. And the pumpkin, well, doesn't know whether it wants to grow up or down. Well, I'm going to try and climb it over. I did this makeshift arch. <laughs> Don't judge me on my structural integrity. But it's done with poly pipe, bamboo sticks and old pieces of timber. And, and I pulled it all together with um, soft tie and a couple of screws into the the framework so I'm going to try and climb this all over the top I know I've seen some great photos where people have already achieved it because you've got a better microclimate than what we have so you're getting those results so from a short little introduction about don't forget to pick up your stock otherwise they're going to sell it 
actually, I'm going to announce this now. Marianthia Dandenong's got stock from over a year ago. Well, about a year ago. They've, she's contacted the, the people. Um, if it's one of you guys and you've forgotten, it's about a year old. Well, what she's going to do is a lucky dip. If they don't come out in the next two weeks, as I said, I'm going to make the announcement. If that, nobody turns up for the partic that particular stock that's over a year old, the order that is, it's going to go in a big box or a barrel and we're going to have raffles. So anybody who shops at Dandenong, Gets to draw out a number and takes a free gift, maybe a black red 18 kilo. There's all sorts of stuff. I saw it was a cage full of products there. Anyway, dehydration. This is dry. After a hot day, this is... So, oh, it's not too bad, actually. There's a little bit of wilt there. See the wilt? There's the other ones on the other side are sitting up more upright there. But just a little bit dry. And if I look at the surface, it's moist. See, it's, oh, it's, it's damp, I won't say it's moist, but if I stick my finger down in here, it's not really wet. Just, just, just enough to keep them sort of upright. So this bed needs another top up. That's what you gotta do. You gotta stick your finger in the soil. You can't tell by just looking at the surface and just the plants there. You know, those thermometers are great. And even the 4-in-1 soil survey instrument, I think that's what it's called, uh, that has the moisture meter. They, they even sell moisture meters. Get yourself one of those if you're not sure. But, you know, the figure in the soil, and if you can't get it in the soil because it's too hard, there's your first problem. So you're going to fix that. Oh, I'm going to go for a tour on my own now. I want you to enjoy this little segment and make sure that you've picked up your order. So if you've got an order that you haven't collected, it's been sitting there for a while, try to contact the uh, outlets, the particular outlets that you ordered it through. Uh, collect it, otherwise it's going to end up in the uh, Lucky Dip barrel, folks. <laughs> you wouldn't like that, would you? Check out our website, vasiliesgarden.com, and uh, yeah, everything's discounted every day. For me, Vasili, Maresi, have a great weekend.